gearheads, thanks for tuning in. On this episode of Dan's Garage, Dan is back onto the ramp truck and he found another leaf. No surprise there. So he's going to be turning this to this. Let's see how we did it. Hey Dan, run that intro. Now I know what you're saying. Hey Dan, you already resealed the Hydra Boost. I did, well, Albert and I did, but that was back here between the two parts. Now it's leaking up front here, which is the spool valve. And there's a little O-ring gasket in there. And I think that's uh, no bueno. I'm hoping it's no good because we're gonna take it out. And uh, if we take it out and it's good and we replace it and it doesn't do anything, then, well, we've just wasted time. But um, we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway. So let's get right to it. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is disconnect the master again, and uh, that we just need to take these two nuts off, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, pull that out of the way as much as possible without damaging the lines, and we'll bungee cord it up. So, let's get right to that. But now that with the master out of the way, we can see this is the area it's leaking. You can see it coming down there. Um, I don't think we have any issues down here. And if we do, it's probably coming down there and through here. But this looks pretty dry in here, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. But we're going to take this and we're going to push it in. And then there's a little C-clip in there that we got to pull out. And then this should slide out this way. And it's probably going to make a mess. But hopefully there's something wrong with that and we're going to figure it out right now. First thing I want to do is see how much spring pressure is on this thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. I pushed it in and it stayed in. Huh, that might be good. Once you start getting it out of that channel, maybe you can pry behind it or something. Yep, there we go. So it's coming out. I'm actually going to keep my hand down here because I feel like it's going to go flying and I'm going to lose it. But it's coming out pretty good, if you can see up here. So see how it's coming out there? So I'm basically just using this uh, backwards pick tool to uh, pick it out, and it's coming out little by little. So hopefully it'll go back in as easy as it came out. A little hard to do stuff like this with big gloves on, but we got it out. Rock it back and forth. There we go. Okay, now you see the spring and it's dumping fluid everywhere. Let me get a rag. Hopefully you guys can see this. And this is actually a square O-ring that goes on this thing. So I went to Granger and I got two square O-rings that I had to seat them next to each other. You can see it's, it's up a little bit on this side. So I think what I'm going to do is take them off and uh, maybe we'll try and use a little lubrication, see if we can set them in there because the ones they had were a little bit thinner than the ones that were in there. So two of them together kind of made the right um, thickness. So we'll try putting that in and lubricate it and see if that goes in and stops the leak. So this is still leaking from the top, which is a problem because it shouldn't be leaking because this is a brand new master cylinder so maybe I need to rethink painting this because if I paint this the brake fluid is just going to pull that right off. Let me try cleaning it. See if that does anything. And then what I was going to do was just hit it with some 150 just to roughen it up a little. I don't generally like to paint things all one color after it's together because that kind of makes it look like garbage, but I think this looks worse than it'll look if it's painted. So let me show you one more trick and then we'll get out the uh, spray. So what you do is you take household tin foil, aluminum foil, steal it from your wife, she won't know. Um, you Canadians probably call it metal paper or something weird. Uh, but all you have to do is wrap it around whatever you're trying to protect. I'm gonna go right up to the bolt and then it will form 
and cover anything you don't want to paint. And I did this on the uh, engine when I painted the engine for the Chevelle. And it protects the stuff really well and uh, forms really easily. So, good tip. This one I'm going to cover the whole block because I don't want this other line getting painted either. At least try to make it look like I cared about painting this thing. So, uh, now we are going to be painting the rubber gasket ends, but whatever. You always want to start off with a couple light coats just to give it some bite. That's what they say when they're professionals. Try not to get the overspray on your camera. So this seems to have worked pretty good. Um, it does look like it's leaking a little bit on the back, but we're going to go ahead and move this out of the way so we can check the inlet on that spool valve. Remove all this tin foil too. And you can see how well it kept the paint off of there. It's a little splatter, but this is not the, uh, the best way to be painting things in a vehicle. But you do what you gotta do. So the two gaskets together did not work. I tried to put one in there and it clicked in, but it was too loose and I had to pull it out to see if I can get the spring back in and it came off of itself. So I think I'm gonna try one of the round ones and see if that'll fit in here better. So we'll see. So the good news is I got it back together. The bad news is I wasn't able to put a new O-ring on it. Uh, the old O-ring seemed okay. I know I'm sure they shrink or they get uh, rubber gets wasted over time or whatever. It's probably going to leak again, but the only way to get the exact correct one is to buy a whole new gasket set, which is not that expensive, but I really don't have time. I need to use this truck tomorrow, so I'm just going to put it back the way it was. And the bright side is I got the master cylinder painted, so at least uh you know it looked good on the intro when ashley did that you thought i was going to fix the problem so did i but you know sometimes you take things apart and you put them back together and you don't know why but they actually work better so maybe just by taking it apart and giving it a little love and putting it back together and cleaning it up maybe it won't leak and if it does i'll just have to do it again the right way so uh let me go ahead and get this back together And there you go. It's all back together. It looks lovely. Hopefully no more brake fluid will uh, come out of that master cylinder. It's not overfilled. I don't know what the deal is. Could be because of too much pressure. It may need a booster. I don't know. You can buy them at uh, auto parts stores like 180 bucks. Um, but try not to spend too much money on this truck. I'm actually going to be selling it soon. So let's uh, run with this and we'll just check it in the morning and see if it's leaking. Hopefully not. If it is, like I said, they'll be a part three hydro boost seal video now that this is part two other than that that's pretty much it so check out the description below there's a bunch of awesome automotive channels you should be checking out and uh, if you like them please subscribe to them we're all part of the community not competition team so definitely check out those other channels if you do see a video you like mine or someone else's make sure you like it hit that thumbs up comment make sure you're subscribed and have that bell hit that really helps all of us out uh, especially those comments i know for me being a small YouTuber, it makes me feel special when people comment on my uh, videos. That's why I try to comment back to every single one of them. And um, we have stickers now, so be sure to check out the description below on how you can get your very own Dan's Garage stickers.
or we're going to have stickers soon, so email us. No. Ashtastic Reviews is in the house. She's right over there, and she's going to come and do the rest of the intro right now. I'll show you how it's done right now. All right. Stand there to this. How were no. you were right here? No. To this. No. Let's see how it's done. No. No, you already said that. No. To this. No. Man, that looks good. No. Let's see what happened. Hey, Dan, run that intro. Let's see how we did it. Is it this way or that? We. What is with the we again? Let's see she how. She says we did it. I said Come here. he. Come here. I, got I a said he. I said oh, let's, let's see, see how, how he, he did, did it. it. Dad, Dad, my hair everyone. literally did not. Her hair is wet, showered. so she's afraid to be on camera. I just showered, so it looks naughty. That's oh, good. You're clean. Go to McDonald's, by the way. So you won't smell for the Dan's Garage audience. Dad, I'm doing. This yes, thing. Ashley. We need to go to McDonald's. Hey, comment down below if you'd like to see Ashley in a video. I'm trying to get her out here working on something. So if you want to see Ashley do some work, get dirty, be like, yes, we want to see Ashley do some work. Father and daughter team. Hashtag father and daughter. Or hashtag Dan and Ash. Comment down below. Yeah. So, uh, all right. The rest of the intro coming up soon after your hair's dry. How much time do we have? Yeah. Cut. Editor, cut this out.